Hello, now today is Friday, praise God. Now all week we've been talking about the result of righteousness, see? What you gain by, from walking in righteousness. And God promised that your children will be blessed. Now, practically, I have seen, I've seen the, the, the result of this truth in my own life, see? Because I have, I have parents who walked in righteousness before the Lord. See, they, they, they did all they, they, they could. I watched my parents, you know, speaking truth. I watched my parents dealing diligently with everything where the word of God is concerned. They hold on to God's word. And I, I watched them growing up, watch them do all these things. Now, today, I realize that there are things, things people struggle for. I don't struggle with them. Now, that's exactly what the scripture says that we read in verse 2. It says, their children shall be mighty on the earth. See, now I, I've gone beyond my parents and I'm looking down to my children now. See, and that's, that's how you deal with the word of God. And I understand something. See, when you walk with God, see, try to settle three generations of righteous walking with God in your family. And your family is going to be established forever. I'm telling you the truth. Three generations straight walking with the Lord. It, that whole lineage will not lack one who's standing faithfully with God. It will not lack one who's standing on God's testimony. Now, let, let's, let's finish this up. When verse 9 and 10 today, Psalm 112, it says, He has despised, he had given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. Now, he's talking about the man himself. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Now, this is not a prayer point. This is a sure promise. Mm. First of all, he says, he has dispersed that, bro. Let me read this from the Living Bible translation. He says, he gives generously to those in need. Now, why does he give generously to them? Because he is trying to see their needs met. So the, the good man, he's not the righteous man is not the one who, who is giving, just giving alms for the poor. No. You know why? Because he, he takes time to hear the Lord concerning others. See, when, when God is commanding him to meet someone's need, he's not going to meet that need by, with peanuts. You see, when God is meeting your need, he is meeting your need. So God is going to tell, command this good man, oh, why don't you give to that person? Why don't you get that thing for that person? And, and he's going to obey the Lord. So that's why he gives generously. He's not going to give, okay, Lord, I'll just give him my widow's might. No, 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 no. We don't give widow's might. We, we solve the problem. We meet the need. Praise God. Because that's how God thinks. Now watch this. His deed will never be forgotten. He shall have influence and honor. Isn't that blessed? Isn't that such a blessing? He's telling the future of your life. Now watch this. Evil-minded men will be infuriated when they see all this. They will gnash with their teeth in anger and slick away their hopes twatted. So what was their hope? Their hope was to see your downfall. Have you, have you been there? You know, you're walking before the Lord in righteousness, and someone say, eh, We will see your end. You say you don't want to fool us to do what we're doing. Well done. I will be here. You will come and beg me. See, now that's their hope. But because you're walking in the, with the Lord, you're just following Him. And guess what? Say, Their hope will be what? Twatted. Now, as one day, they are going to wait. You remember Paul, when, when Paul was. God saved them from the shipwreck, you know. And then they, they, they gathered together in the night and burning um, fire to keep warm. And then a, 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 a viper came from that fire and beat Paul. And then when that happened, the people said, Oh, surely this guy is a bad man. Even though he escaped from the sea, God's judgment had finally caught up on him. So the, the Bible said they were waiting for him to swell up and die because they know once that viper bites you, it's you're done. See, no one has no no anti venom to help you out. You are done. So they were just watching and waiting for. But, but the Bible says Paul just shook it shook the viper into the fire 
and continued, you know, so uh, as I was saying, sorry, don't mind this thing, as I was saying, you know, and he continued talking and they were waiting, 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 he didn't swell up, he didn't fall and die, so then what happened, the Bible said, uh, 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 this guy, he's a God, their hopes was thwarted, see, and that's what God will do in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, beginning from this moment, I see the Spirit of God taking hold of you and showing to everyone around you that He cares for you. People have thought you are done for. People have, have thought you are out. They, they've thought, they, I mean, they are waiting for you to come and beg for bread. But hear me, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the hand of the Lord is lifting you up right now. And He is setting you amongst princes. And He is putting you in a place of honor. And that is taking place right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen until next week. Now we've got our program coming up again next month. I'll, go, I'll talk to you about that next week. But get ready. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a blessed weekend ever. Go to church on Sunday. I'll see you on Monday. God bless you. Bye-bye.